right, initializing test number 102. Subject appears to be deceased, going to attempt to revitalize using surgical saws. Beginning test, now. Subjects appears to be unresponsive. I looks like it, this test is going to need to be chopped up as a failure. Damn it! I figured that one was going to work as well. You're going to need something else to test on. I need a new subject. What do you think, Mr. Bones? I agree. We do need a new subject. Oh, hey everybody! TVG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, we went to the X2 antenna array and got, well, the antenna array to use as a bludgeoning weapon. We also... Ooh, that could actually work. We also arrived here at the X13 facility to get the upgrade to the Sonic Emitter. We also went to a couple of other places, like Higgs Village, where we got a couple of upgrades. Uh, did a little thing for the scientists. Yoink. And that was pretty much it. We also got a weird audio log about someone who apparently knows us by, well, profession. I can't really say my name. Come on. Get up there. Uh, we're going to need to be going further into the testing facility, but first things first, I want to get the test subject onto the table. Come on. We need you to force science. There we go. All right, All right, time to begin the testing. I'm sorry, subject 102, or was it 201? I've lost count, I've been doing too many tests in this place. All right, new subject, no! Ah, the hell with it. Well, I wanna do at least one thing of science before this video starts. Where can I find science to begin the testing? Ooh. Robot, dog and robot splicing experiment. Well, the last of the splicing experiments in the, this place didn't go so well, but who knows, maybe this one will be different. I mean, I'm wearing my scrubs, I got, I got my sciencey goggles on, I, I got a glove on, maybe this will work. Alright, uh, let's see, splice a robot and a dog. I am a genius! I have created new life! But it's that. Success, 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 success. And dot the I's, cross the T's. Let's go meet our new creation. I shall name you Roxy. Hi there, puppy. I am your new father, your creator. Come with me. What are you doing, dog? Okay, heal. Let's go on an adventure. We actually do need to go back into the X-13 facility because I missed something in there, which was the main reason we came to here to get it. Uh, we need to get away into the kennel area because that's where the upgrade is. Unfortunately, we don't have the key and we can't lock pick the lock. So, let's head back into the test facility. I probably should armor up, I don't know if the... the... I'm gonna get my dog suit on for this. Oh, it's Gabe! Hi, Gabe! I think Gabe had a little problem. Um, um, Gabe? Seven, yes. 
so forth. Science!
sense if I had to go back through it, but the waypoint pointed me towards that door. Hmm. Eh, whatever. You know what? I'm gonna go grab Roxy real quick, because I do think we do need her for to do a couple of experiments with before we can continue. Oh god, infestation! Not really seen so much as blasting me with tail lasers. Did that thing just hiss at me? Oh, I wanted to take the brain. We're gonna, you know, use it to replace the very tiny one that was taken from me. Alright. Roxy, clear splicing area. Oh, great. I need to clean the mess before I can bring a new friend back. Vice Robot and Dog. Um, excuse me. Rest in peace, Roxy. You will be missed. Maybe it restocks after I do every test. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I don't really get Roxy. I usually just bring her and then leave her because she's only restricted to being used in this facility. She doesn't actually travel throughout Big Mountain with you. Which is kind of sad! But then again, it is like having another Rex with you and Rex wasn't the best companion in Vanilla Vegas. So yeah, this was an elevator system. Attention students! This is the pre-recorded voice of your pre-recorded principal, Dr. Principal Boros. Oh, there it is. Download the impulse wave. So I can marry you impulse wave a month or something. Maybe we can disable force fields. Nice. Pulse. Oh god! I didn't even see that. Take this force field as soon as I reload. I don't want bulk. I'll just take normal shots. Take that force field! Sonic Committer has been upgraded. And a level up. How close am I to max level? Two levels away. And also, I've got enough for a new perk. So what do I need to put a perk into? All right, I decided to up melee by five. I up sneak by five, and then I put five, 10 into survival. Yeah, the one thing I really say I don't really have any use for, and I'm downing most points into it. I think I might just focus on sneak and survival next two levels because they're my lowest skills. At least until I can find an endless assortment of skill books to, you know, procure, like, max out everything. Now, what to go on for a new perk? I've officially run out of ideas of perks that I think... Because I pretty much got the most useful ones throughout my adventure. Alright, so... Actually, there was a perk that I did a little bit of research into last video and this video. Animal Friend. At the first rank of this perk, animals simply won't attack. At the second rank, they will come to your aid in combat, but never against another animal. The thing is, I was wrong at the beginning of the DLC when I thought that Night Stalkers in Big Mountain were not a, were still a threat to you. Actually, the Animal Friend perk works with the Night Stalkers here. For some reason, it just doesn't work with the Yaogwai in Honest Arts. But hey, if it means I don't ever have to kill my favorite uh, Fallout creature, then fine. I was kind of thinking of either to do maybe Plasma Spaz, because I've been using this Plasma Rifle a lot. I don't even think I have a Plasma Caster though, because it makes AP cost less for all Plasma based weapons. The only other thing I could think of would be Life Giver, which just gives me 30 extra HP, but that's not really a whole lot. Other than that, not really anything that's jumping out at me. Maybe Walker Instinct, because I get uh, more perception and 
agility while outside, and I am outside a lot, so... Maybe that'll happen when I hit 50, I don't know. But that's what I'm gonna go with, so let's get the show on the road. I am now friends with all animals. Even abominations. Too bad that does not work on the cyber dogs, though, because I think they are classified as robots. Yep, they're still red, which means they're still gonna try and kill me. Do I have anything that's... Do I have any, like, splash damage weapons on me? Layer. Missing laser pistol. Plasma grenade. That could work. Alright, I got an idea. Take care of you. Just you. Fire in the hole. That didn't work. Oh god! Alright, that had to work. What? Stop barking at me! Especially at 3 in the morning. Hello? Anybody home? Definitely not upstairs. Oh, hi. Oh, God! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Down, boy! Down! Down! Ow! I'm okay. The armor took the brunt of the hits. How, how is my armor condition? Either something like that. Armor's at half health, but the helmet's still holding up. I probably need to find some, like, combat armor somewhere to repair this stuff. I think that works on power armor. Why wouldn't it? Speaking of repairs, my whole entire person needs repairs. Let's see, you take... Uh, do I have any purified water just to lighten the load a little bit? Stand back. There we go. And one more for the road. Today, the cafeteria will be serving nothing because I didn't build one. Oh, God! I'm sure he'd find another way to annoy you. Oh my god. Where is... There you are. The Hall Monitor! Right, where is that file at? Actually... Records. Richie Marcus's records. F minus 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 F minus. Let's see. Oh, I forgot I had this gun. What? Oh god, no, no, not again. The light is shining in darkness. Throwing axe, more ammo, anything of value, nope. I don't even know why I bothered to check any, uh, I'll take this mug for reasons. I don't know why I even check these things, nothing never really good in them. Nope. I guess the empty syringe, but I really, I have plenty of stim packs, so I don't really need to use them that much. A bobby pin, I'll take that. Alright. I think that's everything on this floor. Wait! Oh, wait, no, that's just the turrets. around the corner is nothing. 
Must be on the second floor then. It's quiet. Too quiet. I don't like that fact. School is a sacred place. Even though I am a long ago graduate of this hated facility. Now I see its worth, and see it was corrupted by fraternities and girls. Yuck. You got issues. Like, very serious issues. Wait, was it in the- Ah, damn it, it was in the library. I wonder. Hey, it worked! I shoot these in bulk! Down, boy! Down, boy! Alright, that's two. One more to go, and I'm sure it's probably on the second floor. Although I was wrong about the last one, I got a good feeling in my gut. Note to self, never uh, look into that feeling in my gut. Let's see. Over here. Maybe. Possibly. Indubitably. Oh, no. Sorry, I seem to have opened the wrong door. I'll come back later. Um, where'd the dog go? Hello? Oh, there you are. And I think I just killed the school's mascot. And I think I just killed the school's treasurer. Let's see. Sporting equipment. Student records. And then just all of a sudden two dogs just show up. You missed! How could you miss? He was three feet in front of you! Wow, that overcharge for wonders. Of course, I was just using an alarm. Well, it's not overcharged, but you, you get my point. Oh man, they've turned the force field back on. Now where's my sense of pride and accomplishment? Oh my. I did wonders to these guys earlier. Do I have a way to get into the kennel? Nope. Excuse me. Oh wait, this um, I'm an idiot. This was X8, not X13. X13 was the first place we went to. Oh man, am I stupid? I'm sure probably someone already said that to me, but you know what, I'm just gonna give them the satisfactory 
of not having to say it in the comments. But you can still probably say it in the comments. I mean, knowing YouTube, they still will. Oh no, fighting! It's Time not as if I've been dealing with them by the bush bowl. Hello? Anything that wants to come out and shoot me in the face? No? Good. Back. Take this armor off, and I'm gonna put some science on my head if I can find it. Was it? There it is. And we'll go with. Eh, why not? Science! Actually, do I still have that brush gun on me? Yes, I do. Let's go to X-13 now, not X-8. And I can't do that because I'm sure there's a Robo Scorpion or two somewhere. Nope, dogs. Down, boy. Down. Anything else? No? Good. Of course there would be something else. Alright, well, just mosey on over to an area that doesn't have dogs. Or scorpions. Or both. Both is also good. Oh, hello, what's this? Crotalis DNA Prevention Lab? Do I even want to go in there? It sounds scary. Well, I don't need science anymore, so I'll put the... Uh, Gannon armor back on. This is gonna suck. Yes, I know I'm getting sidetracked, but it's right here, so I might as well explore. Who knows, maybe there's something good inside here. Then again... Oh, it's just Night Stalkers. Hello, little friends. How are you doing? Oh my god. You didn't chew your food all the way. Shadows, what are you doing here? What did I say about leaving eggs on in the operating room? Night Stalker squeezes? I don't want to know what that was squeezing from. The hell, cave fungus? For a second, I thought those were hearts. Don't ask me why. Oh, what do we have here? A tail and the uh, auto dock upgrade implant Y3. I don't know why I said Y13. I'll take an egg for good measure. And another one. For a computer. Oh, there's a door over here, though. It doesn't look like there's anything. Of Oop, no, wait, there's ammo. But it's just missiles. So yeah, there's nothing of significant value in here, except, no, that's, that's, uh, a Brexo. Surgical tubing. Oh, there's bottle caps. That was really the most worthwhile thing that was in there. No throwing 
Cognac, sugar bombs. Aw, poor thing. Let me let you out. There you go. Be free, my little friends. Be free and be happy. Kind of getting a sort of the thing vibe from this room. I don't know why. Maybe it has to do with the unholy dog abominations. Just a thought. All right, what's left? Four rooms, and I think that's it. Although, yeah, it seems to be pretty much the exact same thing. Don't even want to know what's happening with that guy. Oh, some ammo. And more throwing axes! I wonder if the game's telling me I should probably use some throwing axes. Sad thing is, I'm not really good with throwing weapons. Alright, well, looks like you guys have the run of the place, so I'm just gonna leave and let you guys, uh, be happy. You know, bygones be bygones. You didn't try to kill me, and I didn't try to kill you. If you see a robo-scorpions, do not attempt to fight them. They will shoot you with their robotic stingers, and then possibly explode. A little late for that. Alright, can I finally go to X-13 now? Thank you. Ah, oh, it's been too long. So we're going to X-13 to get keys to go back to X-8 and I... Uh, they really want you to explore a lot of big mountains. Oh, there it is. Lots of laser pistols. Money. Money, 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 money. Apple, if I want to look like an asshole. There's the key. Eh, screw it. Now it's time to go back to X-13, X-8, whatever I call it. And what did it say to do? Release the unusual specimen into the testing arena. Let me guess, the unusual specimen is Night Stalkers. Maybe it's Robo's Night Stalkers. You know, like Cyber Dogs, but except with Night Stalkers. That'd be awesome. your family. They are living happy and healthy inside the sewers. Yoink. What's this? Schematics for the K9000 Fido. Interesting. Release unusual specimen. Unusual shipment. I can't read because of the thing. Just received the latest shipment of dogs through the cyber dog experiment process, but, well, frankly, I think our suppliers screwed us. The animals must be basically feral. Every time we get close to, I think I've already read this. I'm in lockdown. We're going to shoot for Nope. I think I already read those in a past video, so I'm not going to bother rereading them. I 
upgrade institutional retrieval basis with the X-ray yeah. And let me guess, things are now gonna get easier because I release Night Stalkers into here instead of Cyber Dogs. Ooh, does that mean we're gonna get Night Stalkers playing poker? Attention students, this is the pre-recorded voice of your pre-recorded principal, Dr. Principal Boros. Nope, oh, you're trying to kill me. I didn't think they'd actually do that. Trying to get through here. I am lord of this institution, where once, long ago, I was a student here. No, I am its omnipotent god principle, as I soon will be lord of Big Mountain. Do do do. Do you hear that? It is my trumpet of victory. Man, there must be ham for lunch because that was some hamminess. Oh, no, wait, there's no cafeteria because he didn't build one. Then where's all this ham come from? Oh, there it is. No, yes. Let's get a little distracted by the turret monitor. It's nice that they see that they made the test easy for me now. I made the right choice with that perk getting. test and I think we're finally done with X8 and then we don't ever have to do any more testing ever again which is good because I gotta say these tests they're really testing my patience. <laughs> Ow! Oh, I don't. I shouldn't have done that. I deserved it. Give me one second. 
There we go. Are they all in the same place? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it's filled with something, all right, but shh isn't really the thing I was thinking. Wish I got some armor piercing bolts for this thing. Maybe I can buy Please some place in the incinerator chute in the sink. Especially those with funny pictures of me in them. Please take Please take what? Sorry, I didn't get that. That science is complete. Retest data from the X8 test terminal. And that's in the main area. All right. Oh, thank God, testing is finally done. Let's just get the hell out of this tube and back out into the fresh air. Alright, so what's my big reward for all the testing? Dean Agent Perk. Your study of the abominations created at the Big Mountain Research uh, from Big Mountain has granted you a 10% bonus against Night Stalkers. Good! The per a perk that's completely useless to me now! Hooray! Take care, Mr. Bones. I'm leaving this place in your care. I am so done with X8. The perk that is now utterly useless to me. Because there's no reason for me to ever fight a Night Stalker because I don't ever have to fight them again. Can I bring Roxy with me? Thank you. Welcome back to the land of the living. Go away by the entrance. You shall, you and Mr. Bones are now the overseers of this facility. Treat it uh, as I would have. And by that I mean probably set the place on fire. Back to the big mountain. No more tests for me! Usually what I screamed at whenever I got done with final exams. And summer finally began and oh hello. You won't escape me. Oh, I wasn't planning on escaping you. Just destroy you. One second to reload. And boop! There we go. Still cowering in your dome? Cower, you fools. Cower. Boop. Perfect. Ah, great. More dogs. Alright. Hold still. And... Boop. That was probably a one in a million shot. I literally took his entire... Well, upper body off. All right, so 
that's all for the all three research facility. Well, two research facilities and the antenna. I guess now would be the best time to go to get the rest of the personalities for my friends in the sink. Uh, we need to find the Auto Dock and the biological research station. And there's one in the Y-17 medical facility and two are up in the northern area. I think we'll go to Y-17 first since it's the closest. And I think it's literally just right down the road from here. But man, it feels good to no longer have to do this. Oh my god, Big Mountain is researching invisibility. It makes sense. I mean, they have stealth boys here. What the hell? Oh, robots. Lots and lots of robots. Angry robots. Hi. Ow. Oh my god, there's too many dogs. Ah! Down, boy. I said down. Down. Good dog. Now for you. You must be the dog walker. Good day to you, sir. Now what? I just can't seem to catch a break, can I? Find doctor's bag. Go down already. Thank you. Goodbye. Time to go to medical. I could definitely use some more medical supplies. Something tells me they're all used up. Hello? Anybody home? Ah, USB caretakers. I've here come to relieve you of your duty. Auto dock, sadly. What's this? Pristine circle of steel recon armor. Hmm, interesting. I mean, we did get an audio log earlier that confirmed Christine was in Big Mountain. This must have been where she got captured and, you know, had electro shoved in her head. Are you? There you are. Stop it. Stop it right now. I like to try out her outfit. You know, something fit for a small woman. I'm sure it'll fit me perfectly. Hey, it does! Although it's a little tight in the chest area. But, nothing really special, it, it's just recon armor, it does give you a 5% bonus to stealth, so I guess there's that? Also, there should be something else in this area, I don't know where exactly though. Maybe it was in a different area of Big Mountain that I'm thinking of. The sworn that her weapon that she brought with her was somewhere in here. Maybe it's in a different area, maybe not. Maybe I blew it off into a far corner with my sciency explosions. Eh, I'm not gonna dwell on it right now. If I find it, fine. If not, then oh well. Also, I cannot see anything because I don't have my glasses on. Where is my glasses? 
Perfect. Sterilizer glove? Ew. Oh, jeez! Excuse me. Where'd you guys come from? Stop it! I order you to stop it! Alright, fine. You know what? I got plenty of axes as well. How about I share some with you? Actually works pretty well. And you take this. Um, uh, take this. And that. Um, give me just a moment. Epic miss of all time. But that one didn't. Actually, I had just crippled his arm. Now for a medical facility, there seems to be a severe lack of medical supplies. Can I hit him? Ah, you know what? Screw it. Is there another one in here? Oh my god, you guys are relentless! Finally! Jeez! I'm gonna take your coffee mug because I can. What's this? Patient log Y17-0. Well, it's not really a dash, it's white that's easier. Whatever. Let's see what the log has to say. This is Christine Boyce. Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. The Circle. Not going to make it through this. Hope someone finds this message. Gets it to the Brotherhood in the West. Tracked a rogue Brotherhood elder, Elijah, here to the Big Empty. Place is more than it seems. There's a crater hidden deep inside. Junkyard of pre-war labs scattered across the crater's surface. All still running. Like this one. Elijah's dissecting these centers, one by one. Tracked into an old Chinese-American internment camp. Survivors, ghouls, have bomb collars. Robots moved in when I tried to intercept him. Elijah set the camp ghouls against us both. Like walking bombs. Got hit by the explosions. Woke up here. Guess the medical robots were programmed to bring wounded victims from the camp to this center. Some kind of autodoc prototype lab. Manned by corpses trapped inside suits that keep them moving. No idea why. Not sure how long I'm going to last. Cut open my head like a lot of the humans I've seen here. Feel strange. Can talk, but can't hack the term. I don't even want to know Wait. what that was. An explosion outside. Someone's here. Someone. And either she found Elijah, Elijah found her, or that's when she met that other mysterious figure. And we got the auto duck uh, personality back. I thought there was a computer down there. Anything left in here, or am I done? Oh, there's a terminal. Sierra Madre test case, ooh. I heard one of those execs mention that whether Sinclair knew it or not, the Sierra Madre would be a test case for the Autodoc and the innovative toxins research. Maybe they were joking, but even that kind of joke sends a chill down my spine. 
If I got poisoned by one of those toxins, no way would I crawl inside one of the white 17 auto ducts. Here, if my life depended on it, the medical tech for those trauma suits alone make me wish they'd embrace their research. The suits do more thinking than the people inside them. White 17 trauma harness override uh, has succeeded beyond our wildest expectations. Test harnesses were able to take over the, the mother functions of an injured subject and walk them back to home base. We'll have to see what develops once it's recorded enough neuro, neuro auto muscular movement to display a wider range of behaviors. To think if they could be programmed to replicate the where her shooting or fighting reflexes, we'd have something truly amazing for the war effort. Seriously, that sounds like the worst idea ever. I got shot in the legs. They're blown off by shrapnel. Wait, why is this suit walking me back? No, no! Oh god, it hurts! Some issues still remain with the ironed out before the Y-17 tra trauma harness is ready for general production. Calibrating the proper amount of injury to trigger the suits remains problematic. Still, the little Yangzi subjects could hardly protest once inside their harness. If a home base is not designed, the suit enters an unpredictable wander state, and as we discovered while calibrating injury levels, the suit sensors are unable to recognize when the wearer is dead. Luckily, at autonomous corpse retrieval is nearly as useful as autonomous casualty recovery. So there's a little bit of backstory on, you know, the walking skeleton spacemen, who apparently don't know when people turned off the lights. Like I said, really stupid idea to make something that would literally walk you back if you take too much damage. I mean, I guess that's good incentive to not take damage, but still. Alright. How close am I to the other two places? Do I have enough time? I, I got half an hour. I think I can make it to at least one of them. Uh, we'll go back to Night Stalker place. And off to the north. What will we find? If you are standing on the green pipes, if you are standing on the green pipes, please get off them at once. But standing on the green pipes is fun. Hazmat testing. Oh god. Do I have any hazmat protection stuff? No, I guess. As if I haven't been wearing this suit enough already. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh my god. They captured a ghost person. Well, no. Uh, hazmat suit containment unit requires a security code to disable the force field. You can actually get the outfit that the ghost people wore in Dead Money, which is awesome. It also has the glowing eyes effect, so that's also as awesome. And it gives you uh, night vision, which is three times as awesome. But we need a security code to actually be able to get the suit. And sadly, it's the non-hooded version of the suit. I, I wish that the hooded version was available. I really do. It just They looked more scary with the hood up. I don't know what it is. Let's get this thing off me. And we'll put some science on my head. Why not? Hopefully my hair grows back from this. There are so many places to explore. So many places, so little time. Oh, hello. Just gonna pull you out of the ground. Nothing but tape. Oh, I thought there was more robots. I was like, can you guys just give me a break with the robots already? What was that? Is that a... 
A vertebrate? Or what? Ow, 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 where, what? The fact that you hit me with a submachine, yeah, similarly a submachine gun from that distance is impressive. I will commend you. What the hell is this thing? Well, broken appears to be what it is. What was it, like a crane or something? Hmm. Maybe like a landing gear for a giant vertebrate? Waste disintegration platform. Ooh, can I disintegrate stuff? Is there a, bu is there a disintegration button somewhere? That's a deep fissure. Come on, you can't have a waste disintegration platform without the ability to disintegrate something. This seems like a horrible idea. Ah, eh, whatever. How close am I to one of the locations? It looks like it's over there. Never actually knew this area was here. Or maybe I did and I just forgot. Loading station! Kind of random, but alright. What? Up! Really? It's good. Good. Must have loaded ordnance or something because of the shells over there. Or it could have just been a general loading area. Oh man, we're getting pretty close to the Forbidden Zone. The zone that is, in fact, forbidden. As Mobius would like to go on and on and on about. I'm gonna avoid it for now. Besides, it, that looks like a several car pileup that I have no business going near. Mostly because it looks like a dead end. So you said that not to stand on the green pipes. What about the red pipes? Are they, are they stand safe? Or all pipes are not standable? I wonder what the red crystals are as well. We cross over into an Elder Scrolls game all of a sudden? I feel like I could go up to that little plateau over there. Looks like one of the locations is down in the gorge. And of course I walked past the only way to get down safely. The other way involves breaking my legs. The hell? Oh no, not plants! Whatever shall I do with spore plants? I mean, they spit at me. It's very annoying. You know, if it wasn't for the giant killer plants, this place actually seems kind of nice. Oh, what? Oh, more spore plants. He's got a pretty good reach for spitting. Oh god, no! He's also pretty powerful if the .307 is anything to go by. There should be something more here, but there isn't. The hell? Seed package? 
dried banana yucca fruit, dried white horsetail, dried honey, dried maize, corn. Interesting, that's also a death trap. Uh, there's no safe way down from up here, is there? Can't be simple. Gotta be convoluted in a way I can get off this plateau. Alright, fine. We're gonna be inventive. What was that sound? Get more plants. Looks like it. Yep, yeah, it's more plants. X-22 Botanical Garden. Oh, well, it is definitely very... Oh, no, not you guys! Patient Zero, so you're the cause of all this! Well, now he's just... Zero. I don't know where I was going to go with that. But yeah, that was actually Patient Zero, as in the first person ever infected with the spore thing that turned him into the... What was it, The crawlers? The plant people? The plant people from Vault 22. And also that one cave in... Uh, that one area in Honest Hearts. Oh hey, there's more seeds. Rock flowers. Jalapenos. Pinto beans. Anything worthwhile besides the seeds? Doesn't look like it. Oh, wait. Nope, that's that's a plant. And I think I should censor that thing's throat. Seriously. Alright, Patient Zero. What do you have? Blood pack. Black blood sausage? Ugh. That doesn't sound appetizing. I think I'm. I think I missed something. I think what I was looking for is about back up there. Ah, there it is. Of course, the botanical research station would be in the botanical garden. I mean, what else would it be here? Hello. Yeah, Spore Carrier. That's what they were called. Yeah, more plants. Is there anything of uh, value back here, or is it just a dead end? There's crates. Plasma grenade. Hopefully this one doesn't act like a dud like the last two were. Y.O. Research Center. Interesting. The Yo Research Center. This place is hippin' and happening. I promise never, never to do that again. I'm sorry. Is there actually a way to get into the place, or is it just for show? My money's on the ladder. But the stubborn, stubborn part of me wants the former. Hello! Melee weapon skill book. And some stim packs. And a duffel bag. It must be Christmas. We'll take a Christmas picture with the camera. What do we have over here? Is that a big book of science? You bet it is. I don't even think I have any use for it anymore because, well, I think my si yeah, my science is maxed. That looks ominous. I'm just going to avoid it for now. Oh, I thought that was like a collectible or something. 
I was like, ooh, can I take the shiny rocks with me? Nope. Ranch, ranch, ranch. See how I abstract my rage, think tank? I hold you in such disdain, I generalize my hatred for you! Hey, that's my method. You know, Mobius, maybe you're all right. We can we actually have something to connect myself to. Hmm, must be like a hydroponics kind of area. Now, walking eye. Well, I don't know where you're from, but venture on, little buddy. Keep an eye on this place. It's got a pretty good view with the little waterfall and stuff. I swear, if I see one hint of a mire lurking here, I'm done. Of course, the sink project would be, you know, in a place that has literally something that's like a running sink. There's gonna be something nightmarish down there, I just know it. Ah, much better. Alright, anyone home? And if you are, please don't answer, because I really am not in the mood for company. Oh, just some regular recon armor. And a helmet. This place has everything. Maximum value doesn't look like there's anything. Oh, actually, I doubt there's anything of significant value in this small hidden footlocker. Just some ammo. Well, that looks like that's everything in here. Kind of a cool area, but also kind of disappointing. Oops. Didn't mean to get naked. Oh, I can actually repair the Tesla armor. Is there anything I can else repair the Tesla armor with? The stealth suit? Eh, no. But I will take the recon helmet on. Actually, I look like a full-fledged diver in this thing now. You know what? I'll keep it for now. I'd like the look. Alright, what's left for the shopping list of friends? We need one that's over here and one that's on the other end with the transmitter antenna array. Great. Nice, awesome, fantastic, absolutely amazing. Of course you would stick them at opposite ends. Alright. Well, it looks like I'm going to this seven car pileup of a mess anyway. You know what, I just look more fashionable for it now. What was this thing? Way back in the tunnel. Oh. Ah, Big Mountain North Tunnel. There better not be death claws in here. Oh, there's turrets. Not as bad. Just. A small percentage of being annoying. Ah, there it is. It is... Light Switch. The Light Switch has a personality? That's sad. Should I... Ask for it? This is probably gonna end badly. It's gonna be something nightmarish down here. It's probably gonna be ants again. Probably fire breathing ants or just a dead end. 
All right. Actually, this place would make a pretty cool hangout. You know, just get some lights down here, maybe throw a sofa, a TV, wire some things up. This can actually make a pretty cool hangout area. But nothing really significant in terms of, well, loot. Kinda sad. Doesn't look like there's anything of significant value down here. Listed. Anyone who can understand these messages, you do not belong here. We will find you. Hmm. Mysterious. Dare I venture into this mysterious cave? Nah. It's too mysterious for me to go into. I don't think I'm armed correctly to go into this mysterious place, but we will save it for later. Like, trust me, I, it's best that I go in there betterly armed. And possibly betterly armored as well, which means I need to fix my power armor. Oh, hey, more of you guys. I thought I destroyed all of you my last time here. Seems I missed a couple. Well, I should rectify that, shouldn't I? Light switch number one. All right, that's it. We're done. We're out of here. Wait, what? Oh my god, there's still two more. All right, fine. One's in the cuckoo's nest, and the other is... Let me just get the last of these personalities and just so we can end things. One flew back into the cuckoo's nest. And kind of wishes he didn't. Mostly because it's tedious, sorting through this entire mess. I don't even miss this thing the last time I was here. And Mr. Bones, what are you doing here? I thought I told you to watch over... X8. Alright. Hopefully the last thing. Go to Hazmat. At this point, I think the think tank's just giving me the runaround. I don't get why why it keeps splitting off into just more things. Stop moving the field goal. I don't know why they didn't just, you know, put everything out at once. I mean, they're all in different locations. There's no, like, uh, personality core that's in the same location as another so I guess maybe limitations and they didn't want to clutter up the map so much that's what I'm gonna go with it's probably wrong but eh, it's just a theory a game theory thanks for watching Kirikon D's construction plants. Ah! Okay, that was like a genuine scare for me. Like, that was like genuine fear coming out of me. <laughs> I've never actually screamed like that from a game before. That's right, you better run. No, run the other way. 
think I might have woken up the dead with that scream because, man, that caught me off guard. Woo, boy. Yeah, we'll go heavy. Actually, how's my how's my armor condition doing? Rebreather's good. The helmet's half. Why? Are you, God, I still have goosebumps from that. See, this is why I hate Cazadors. They bring me nothing but misery. Nothing but pure misery. And genuine fear, at times. But only when they catch me off guard. Oh, hey, Securitrons! Hey, you work for me, right? Um... Nope! I don't think these ones work for me. Let's see. I got pulse mines, but I don't think I can get close enough to these guys to actually use it. So why don't we just... Uh, and enter Mark V's as well, of course. Yoink! You fool! Well, at least I actually did damage with that one, so it's infinitely better than the last two that I threw. Whee! Oof. I think that one had a grenade launcher on him. Too bad he didn't have any grenades on him. That would have been nice to have. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything of significant value in here. If you are, please don't say anything. Four hundred and fifty health these guys have. Uh, possibly more, and that's rockets. Zero one zero zero one 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 zero one one zero one 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 zero zero one one zero zero one zero one, or in layman's terms, one. Oof! It's got like an angry Popeye face. I'd like to get a good look at him if he would stop shooting rockets at me. I think that's the first time both my legs have ever been blown off. There he goes. And you. Want to join them? Sure, why not? Where'd, where'd one go? I think I might have blown him over to... Yeah, yep, there he is. Right in the corner where I can't look at him now. Actually, also probably where I can't search him as well. I thought there was actually something inside there. Uh, let's see. Or throwing axes. Now, where would this personality core be hiding? I'm guessing it's down here somewhere, maybe? Possibly? What do you have on you? Muggy upgrade parts production.
interesting. Is that a dog wearing a eyebot on its head? Do I have everything? No, I do not. I'm still missing something. I'm probably still missing the personality core that I came to get and completely forgot. Oh, no, it's a... It's a... Raphael, the robot's incredible odyssey. Interesting. So is that like a, the Fallout version of Mario Odyssey? Just with an iBot? Well, it's flashing. It means it's close. It would be down here, would it? No, I'm saying it's in Big Mountain now, but... No, it's in front of the construction plant now. Okay, just give me the whole run around. Well, if anything, I'm still going to look around in this area because I didn't actually explore. Hey, having a hard day at work, buddy? I know the feeling. Here, come on, come with me. You've been working too hard. Come on. Up you go, buddy. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Ah, uh, I know you've probably been working yourself to the bone. <laughs> Ow. Come on, come on, you need to live a little. Get on the couch. Come on, almost there. Come on, if I could get that test subject on the surgical table earlier in this video, I can get you onto a couch. You deserve a rest. All right, fine, be a lazy bone. You know what? Take the beer. Perfect. I can't take the globe. Lame. All right. Well, let's go back out to the front of the facility and see if that's where the core actually was. And I was just an idiot. Just making sure. Ah, hello. Mugs. More mugs. I just kicked that book through this back of the truck. Muggy. Hopefully it doesn't mug me. Is that everything now? Yes, it is. Back to the sink. Let's go back to base. Rest, recuperate, bring our friends online, and then probably call the video. That's cool, the whole uh, stealth suit actually has like a diagram back at base to show you the progress of it. That's nice. Nothing really over here. Alright, well I guess we bring our buddies back online. Botanical Research Station. Ooh, oh yeah baby. Feels good to be online again. Yeah. All circuits online, ready to receive your seed. I need an adult. I am an adult, baby. I command you to open your port and receive my seed. Uh, Hopefully no yeah, one takes that out of context. Just slip it in there, all the way down in that dark, moist earth. Mmm, launching interface. Can I use this on my next date? Well, hello. I just gave you the seed. 
What did you just say? You'll see, baby. I'm the original, certified, rarefied, testified GS2000 biological research station. Yes, sir. I'm a seed cloning machine. Hey, we you got something see? in common. I mean, what? I'll clone the shit out of them. What do you mean? It's the miracle of life, baby. You bring me some succulent genetic samples, and I'll work my mojo on them. Clone you up all kinds of plants. Oh, yeah. I can also break them down for you, if you're into the kinky stuff. Bring me any old plant parts, and I'll grind them up into salient green for you. Yeah. Salient green is you like plants! That, you, I almost said people. So if I bring you samples of dried plant life, you can clone them and grow them in these planters? You know it, baby. I just need some samples and I got you going. Take a few days, but trust me, it's all kind of good. Mm. What's salient green? Is just it people? the miracle of life in sticky, gooey, liquid form, baby. Heat that gunk up over a campfire. And just watch it congeal into all kinds of plants. This video is gonna get aid restricted now, isn't it? Hurry back with that seed now, baby. Yeah, it's gonna get restricted. Well, hello. I don't have any seeds. Or maybe I do. Can I? Nope. You? Nope. Muggy? Yeah, Muggy's alright. Not too seedy. But hey, nobody's perfect. Uh, okay, sink. Oh, God, look at you. You're filthy. I suppose you'll want to clean up then. You seem kind of worried about dirt. What's wrong? Oh, it's just so unsanitary. Do you know how many germs are in one cubic centimeter of dirt? Seventy hundred gajillion. Would you want that getting washed down your gullet day in and day out? I didn't think so. Uh, I'd just like a drink, thanks. You can have as much as you like. Just uh, please don't put your lips on the faucet. It's so unsanitary. Sorry, I can't turn my head 180 degrees to actually do that. You've been working with that biological research station, haven't you? Just came over to fill up these empty bottles. Oh, I'd love to, darling, but the circuits that allow me to... You'd have to find a replacement for that module. Of course I do. Need some purified water over here. Book shoot! Ah, good day, citizen. Library processing unit 232.7 is online and ready to eradicate sedition. Uh... What? Of course, citizen. That's my duty and sole joy in life. All those books from before the war, full of seditious, treasonous, complicated thoughts. Just dump them in and lickety split. I'll have them pumped, scrubbed clean, and pressed out again, clean and white, and sedition free. Can you do anything besides processing books? What good is eradicating sedition if the malcontents have ready access to the means to make more, citizen? I can also process pencils and clipboards. Wait a moment. Pencil processors offline? Pencil processors offline? Apologies, citizen. It seems traitors have absconded with that module. If you can find a backup copy of the module, I will happily eradicate your ability to create seditious literature. That voice. That voice sounds so familiar. I can't put my finger on it, though. So you, you make blank books. What's the point of that? Blank books are better for the mind, citizen. Real science by real men in lab coats has proved that introducing outside thoughts confuses the brain. Blank books encourage the reader not to question, but to blindly and zealously accept what's put in front of him. Also, I suppose you could use them to keep a journal. But those books are the last legacy of the time before. You can't destroy them. Citizen, that sounds dangerously seditious. 
If my reindoctrination module was installed, I'd take care of that for you. Sadly, that system was cut for budget concerns, so you'll have to perform your own indoctrination. Now, to begin with, you'll need a cage that can fit over your head and a sack of mole rats. Yeah, I think they're a little big for that. Yeah, I think I can find use for those. Uh, actually, I have some other questions. Nothing. Alright, interesting, interesting. How about the auto dock? <sighs> well, how about that? Old auto dock's back online. Well, alright, come here. Let's have a look at you. You are, without a doubt, the healthiest son of a bitch I've ever seen wandering the big empty. Ain't got no use for an old digital sawbones like me. Can you do anything beyond healing me? Well, firstly, I would say providing wholeness of the body is service enough, but if you must know, I'm also programmed with cosmetical subroutines. Diagnostic says they're offline at the moment, though. Something about corrupted data files and all manner of such foolishness. If you want a haircut or a nose job that won't leave you looking like a ghoul with alopecia, you'll have to find replacement discs for them. Also, and I won't swear to this, but I recollect at some point having a few implant installation modules. Can't speak to where they got to, though. Well, I do have one somewhere in my pocket. Inform a psychiatric evaluation. Alright, so this is something that I would like to address. The psychiatric evaluation. It's a one and only chance you can change the starting perks that you got at the very beginning of the game. You can only do it once in your playthrough, and then never again. And unfortunately, the unique weapon that you get for not uh, choosing Wild Wasteland does not count. So, if you get Wild Wasteland at the start of the game, get the Alien Blaster, decide to come here and think, Oh, I'm gonna just switch off Wild Wasteland and, you know, get the other weapon. Can't do it. Nope, it, it, it's either one or the other at the start of the game. Can I talk about my brain? Do you require some additional services? Yeah, about my brain. And rightly so. Alright, so let's see. Basic physical exam. Initiate cosmetic surgery. Get a haircut. Swap swap body parts. Those are be available right now. Install implants. Drinking radiation removed for 12,000 caps! Ah, uh, no. Basic physical exam would be fine. I'd say, where's my spine? But I don't have it anymore. Zinc! Upgraded holotape received, asking K9000 weapon mod meet Mentat Chow to vendor inventory. Resla Re Royal. Might I be of service? All right, uh, let's see. Let's see. Does it sell power armor? Huh. All right, uh, K9000, K9000, anything else? No, not really. Uh, now let's sell the excess stuff that I have. We'll sell a layer. I'll sell the pulse mines because there's not really any reason for me to get. Ripper, I guess. Eh, the shish kebab as well. I'm not gonna sell both of my sonic emitters. Sterilizer glove. And I'm never gonna sell the X2 antenna. And that looks like everything I need to sell for now. Actually, is there anything in miscellaneous I can sell? Oh, why do I have a death claw egg on me? Where did I get that from? Alright. Well, for the first time in the DLC, it's been quite a while since we've done it last time. I think it's time for TBG to apply some brand new mods. If I can get to the gun. It's up here. 
increased weapons rate of fire and the damage. Not bad, not bad. Although I don't really see much in the ways of significant changes to its appearance. Although, did the backpack get bigger? Might I be of service, sir? Oof. How much to repair my power armor? Oof. Oof. I have a better chance at just finding the stuff out in the field. Three angry death claws make for a lot of reconstructive surgery. Oh, light switch. Oh, my. Partial functionality restored. That's less than optimal. What function do you serve? Dr. Mobius and I were deeply involved in research on the ability of light levels to enhance human cognition. And the results? We observed a fascinating phenomenon. Certain spectra of visible light actually increased cognitive function and reasoning ability. <laughs> of course, Dr. Mobius's brain is so big already, we had a hard time measuring it. Um, phrasing? You turn those lights on for me? As much as I'd love to, I'm afraid not. The data from that study has gone missing. You'll have to find a backup if you want to use the smart lights. Alright, well, I have to go then. Certainly. I'm... How can I illuminate you? Well, I'm making friends. Too bad they all suck and have no personalities. Ooh, yeah, dig that sweet music. Damn, it's good to be back on life. Man, he sounds like an old-timey jazz singer. Blind Dio Jefferson. I just saw the name. What's your purpose? Dig, I'm an acoustical wizard kid. Old Doc Mo used me to prototype his sonic weapon designs. Get me a good sample base to work from, and I can whip up a way that makes Jericho look like a kazoo. Can you do anything like that for me? Got yourself a sonic emitter, don't you? Thought so. Bring that old thing on in here, and bring me some sound samples, and I'll make that baby sing. Or scream, <laughs> if that's what you want. Alright, uh... Well, I got a file for you. Right on, daddy-o. Just plug it in and I'll mix you up a sweet, sweet sound. Opera singer? Gabrielle? Gabrielle, I guess. Gabrielle's bark. Do you play music? Mm, used to. Long time ago. Then old Doc Mo ripped out my music drives and stuck in more acoustical processors. Guess you could say I got the blues even if I can't play them no more. I feel like I just want to shove like a saxophone right onto this thing. Just say, here, just take it as a gift from me. Right Revelation. All right. Uh, we'll go with, we'll go with the bark. All right, and with that, it's been recalibrated. So now, it does more damage to robots. Power, power armor, critical strike, knockback. Oh, that poor dog gun. All right, toaster. What's your deal? <laughs> I am online once again! Tremble, world, before my electric heating coil of doom! Tremble? You're a toaster. How fearsome king can you be? A toaster is just a death ray with a smaller power supply. As soon as I figure out how to tap into the main reactors, I will burn the world! Whatever you say. Well, I, for one, am quaking in my boots. Buddy. If my heating element were just a little bigger, you'd be on fire right now! On fire! 
Why all the rage? Have you ever tried to indulge in all-consuming urge to kill when you don't have opposable thumbs? Or hands? Or anything other than a bread slot? You'd have a lot of pent-up anger, too. We got issues, buddy. Well, since I can't kill you, I guess I have to listen to your inane questions. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what's your function? You should be afraid! I am the scourge of all small appliances, and the boogeyman that keeps lesser toasters awake at night! So, you murder toasters? Not just murder! I tear them apart and render them down to their base components! Once their guts are spilled, you can do with them what you like! Well, well. What have we got here? Another innocent little toaster. Come here. I won't hurt you. Ha! Gotcha! Oh, yes. The sweet smell of spilled electric guts. The sparking diodes. I fucking live for this! Uh, alright, I'll superheat the Saturnite fist. Why not? I just stick my head, my fist right into the bread slot. I'm sure that doesn't hurt like hell. My fist is positively glowing! I think it. I think the vein on the side is broken. Oh my god, why am I holding this right to my hip? Oh my god, it hurts! Yes! You know the world already burned in nuclear fire, right? Soon I will! What? It, it did? Yeah, a couple centuries ago, in fact. Really? Well, fuck! That really puts a damper on the toaster's mood. Oh well. No use crying over spilled Armageddon. Where was I? Oh right. Soon the world will burn in nuclear fire! Again! Alright, what else do you do? You want some weapon schematics? I can show you some fucking weapon schematics! You want a superheated Saturnite power fist? I can hook that shit up! I'll keep an eye out for any other fists I got. You find one! You bring it on back here, and we'll burn this mother down! About that superheated Saturnite fist. Like I said, bring. Alright. Is there anything else? I don't think I have any weapon schematics for him to, yeah. you know, process. Okay, I need to go. This, leave, this is leaving a burning sensation on my hand. Alright. Actually, there's... Ah, there's the other light switch. Mmm, that was a nice little, uh, catnap. How long was I out? What are you, some kind of novelty talking light switch? I was Dr. Mobius's personal assistant. We were studying, um, oh shoot, what was it? Oh yeah, lightning. No, no, wait, uh, lighting. That's right, how lighting affects human interaction. And what'd you find out? Oh, it was super exciting. It turns out that some pretty colored lights can make you way better at talking to people. That is a lie, you know it. Oh, I love to, sweetie, but I don't have the programming. All the data from the experiments was lost. You'd have to go out into that nasty old crater and find the backup copy. I saw another light switch in the other room. Do you control that one, too? Oh, her. Trust me, sweetie, you're better off not thinking about that frigid little ice queen. Sounds like there's some bad blood between you, or the uh, circuits. That bitch. She thinks she's so much better than everybody just because her processors are bigger. Ooh, she makes me so mad. Okay, then forget I said anything. Sure thing, sweetie. Bye now. Alright. Last friend. I got my own little mini Securitron buddy. You! Hey, you! Yeah, you! Got any mugs? Uh... 
mugs? What? Why do you want mugs? Why do you want mugs, huh? You some kind of sick mug hoarder? Oh God, give me the coffee cup, please! It's sitting there in your back, taunting me. Sorry, I'm sorry. I got a little carried away. It's just all those goddamn dirty dishes out there with no one to clean them. It breaks my heart. You seem really obsessed with mugs. Of course I'm obsessed. They made me this way. You think I don't know how crazy I sound? Of course I do. They programmed me to know that, too. They made me just to torture me. But you know, it's the neglect that hurts the most. Hey, everybody, let's turn ourselves into robot brains in jobs. Do you know how many coffee cups, giant robot brains in jars use on a daily basis? Not fucking many! All right, well, what do you do with the mugs? I'm supposed to keep them clean. Oh, God! The thought of all those dirty dishes out there makes me crazy. Most of them are probably beyond saving now. The only thing left is break them down and process them for raw materials. I guess you could have those. Well, I do like raw materials. Anything else, he asks. Like, I don't long for the chance to be more than an erotic busboy. If you must know, at one point, Dr. Mopius programmed me to manufacture electronic components in my central chassis. That module got corroded when the toaster spilled hot crumbs down my fence, stove. If you find a backup somewhere, I could maybe do that for you. Well, lucky you. I actually do have a backup. I think. Oh, sweet, sweet fulfillment! I'll break these down for you just as fast as I can. Uh, process the mugs and dishes. And for that I get... Glue. It syringes. Well, I influence people. Muggy! Upgrade all... Received upgrading parts production functionality. Supply of energy cells, microfusion cells, scrap electronics available now once per day. please, please tell me you brought me some coffee! Have you made any electronic components? Yep, here you go. And by the way, we didn't get your name. You you really want to know about me? <laughs> no one ever asks about Muggy. You made me so happy. Maybe you've seen some of those big imposing secure drones with their lovely laser guns and rocket launchers. And oh yeah, I got blown things. up by them. I'm not one. Dr. O was always jealous of house industries, and he thought it would be fucking hilarious to build a tiny neurotic Securitron. Big fucking laugh! So, um, do you have any coffee cups for me now? Sorry, don't have any. Of course you don't. Why would you? You're not an insane robot obsessed with coffee cups. To you, they're just worthless junk. Sure. Nobody wants to hang out with Muggy. I get it. So long, pal. I still- I feel so bad for him! Alright, well... Base is now a bit more lively. And we're done with all the testing, thank god. I think that's probably gonna do it for this part. Next time on Fallout New Vegas... We're going to be going back into the big empty to find the upgrades for, well, my buddy, so that they suck a little less. If you it's know probably going to be fun. Wins, do you know what that makes you? Well read and erudite. For a communist. <laughs> you say I'm a filthy fucking commie, buddy? Huh? Paper is not the only thing that's going to get shredded in here. Alright, I need to get out of here before I lose my mind. So, until then, I'll see you all next time. Take care, good night, and I'll see you guys later. Gentlemen, behold! Corn! Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, this is pretty nice. Yeah, and I am kind of hungry. Good! <laughs> <laughs>